It's me. It's your favorite papaya. Okay, your favorite sentient fruit. And today I want to talk about careers. I asked you all on my Instagram story to send me your career related questions because I've been in these streets. I've had a million jobs over the span of millions of years. And I'm here to share the wisdom. Okay, so let's dive into the first question, which is actually also the most common question, which is some variation of what do you do if you have no idea what to do with your life? Or um, I don't know what I want to do with my life. Should I try lots of different things or should I wait until I know? Okay, so the first thing is that it's completely normal to not know what you want to do with your life no one knows what they want to do with their life and on top of that the expectation that you a small small bean at the small small age of 18 when your prefrontal cortex hasn't even fully developed and you've just gotten out of high school which has taught you nothing and prepared you in no way for reality and now you're expected to know what you want to do for the rest of your life it is it's unrealistic okay so drop that expectation the second thing um to address the question of should i try lots of things or should i wait until i know i feel like careers have really been romanticized in ways that they weren't during like the industrial revolution the idea that your career has to be your passion is a very new one and it's one that makes careers and work very romantic but (laughs) work is not romantic careers are not romantic and you will not discover what you enjoy doing or what you're passionate about even if you even have a passion instinctively it will not come to you in a dream you will not wake up one morning and suddenly realize that you have this burning fire within you to do to do something no it's just a very strenuous process of trial and error of doing lots of different things of finding out what you don't like so that you can realize what you do like of doing all types of shit until you finally get some semblance of clarity about how you'd like to spend your days. The second thing is don't be attached to the idea that what you like doing now will be what you like doing for the rest of your life because it won't. I met a guy last year who was around like somewhere in his 70s who had just quit his job as an investment banker and was starting a new career as an actor like fam there's no such thing as knowing what to do with your life okay just try lots of things and keep it pushing uh next question this is also an interesting question how do you pick a career that will sustain you and make you happy Okay, the idea that a career is supposed to make you happy will make you very depressed. Like, we need to opt out of that expectation immediately. Immediately. Capitalism is not designed to nourish your passions. It's not designed to nourish your soul. In fact, it's actually designed to do the very opposite. It's designed to turn you into a robot and in the process make you mentally ill until you are disposable so to expect happiness from a system that is designed to disable you will make you very depressed that's the first thing do not expect happiness from anything external actually like nothing nothing will make you happy um that is coming from outside of yourself we also need to opt out of the the idea that our career has to be our passion or that our passion has to be our careers no you can have an entire life that exists outside the realms of capitalism that is extremely fulfilling we often hear about the people who risked everything to pursue their passion and they finally made it but we don't hear about the stories that are actually a lot more common of the people who pursue their passions and then fail either because of circumstance 
or because they don't have the range or because they just realize it's not for them like more people than not pursue their passions or try to make a career out of a passion and fail and then go on to live extremely fulfilling lives because fulfillment can exist outside of capitalism in fact more often than not fulfillment does exist outside of capitalism so to answer the question of how do you find a career that will both sustain you and make you happy the answer is to decentralize capitalism as a means of making you happy or as a means of finding fulfillment and happiness of course you can pursue a career that is your passion but that does not guarantee that that will make you happy because even if you pursue a career that is your passion that passion then becomes a job and jobs are jobs jobs are not fun jobs are jobs you know so that's my answer on that uh next question i am an artist and i'm struggling I can't decide whether to continue pursuing my dream job or if I should just do fucking anything for the cash. Isn't this the story of every artist's life? Like, fam, I feel you. Okay, so here's the first thing. I need you to listen to this closely, okay? I need you to really pay attention to this one. Um, there is no such thing as a dream job let's get that clear just off the bat there's no such thing as a dream job we do not dream of labor in 2020 look like i said in the last question (laughs) even the job that you think is a dream is ultimately a job and jobs are jobs jobs require a level of consistency that is unsustainable to the human spirit Jobs require a level of self-exploitation that is disabling. Jobs require a level of permanence, a level of commitment to permanence that is unrealistic. So to do something, so when you turn something that you are passionate about into a job, it the nature of that passion changes. So it's important to keep that in mind. That isn't to say that you shouldn't pursue a career that is enjoyable or meaningful or worthwhile, but it is to say that you should detach from the expectation that a dream job will be a dream. It will not be a dream. On the other end of that spectrum is just doing anything for cash. Like, don't do that either. I've gone down that route of doing just absolutely anything because bitch i need the money and understand like there's a level of desperation that circumstances can put you in where you just take any job but something that i feel like we don't talk about in society is how psychologically damaging it is to do a job that you hate (laughs) society really normalizes begrudgingly just settling for any old job because you need the money as if that will not slowly kill you from the inside we dedicate almost 80 percent of our days to work so it is imperative that the work that you do be at the bare minimum just like enjoyable a job that is an assault on your identity A job that is an assault on your mental well-being, on your physical well-being, a job where you're forced to exploit yourself continuously, a job that is degrading, a job where you're not respected or valued, will destroy and poison every other facet of your life. Because you'll take those emotions of resentment and anger towards having to spend the vast majority of your days exploiting yourself and you'll bring that into your human relationships and you will you will kill yourself so if you can actually try and find a job that you don't hate try and find a job that is enjoyable and try and find a job that you find meaningful and by meaningful i think all humans have an inherent desire to help other people 
As much as we might be told to believe that we're all inherently trash and selfish, we're all also just biologically wired to be communal people that want to add value to our communities. So through trial and error, figure out what that is and take that shit seriously. Like, don't settle for a job that you hate because that is psychological suicide. Like, it truly... Why stay alive if you're just going to hate the way that you spend 80% of your days? For most people, it's more than 80%. Like, why be alive if your life is so torturous? Is that not just suicide? So that's that on that. Next question. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Do you have any tips on getting out of the scarcity mindset? For anyone who may not be familiar with what the scarcity mindset is, the scarcity mindset is... The mindset that capitalism programs you, indoctrinates you into believing, which is that there is not enough to go around, which is that because there is not enough of anything to go around, we all have to compete. We we all have to fight amongst each other. Uh, we all have to hoard. We all have to be paranoid and skeptical of those around us. We all have to be in competition with our peers. All of this is false. Like, actually, this is not true. The way to get out of that mindset is actually to practice generosity. Like, I know that sounds counterintuitive, but one of the ways that has helped me outgrow the illusion of scarcity is just by being generous. Because the more you give, the more you realize how much you actually have. Like because you'll give and you'll realize oh shit i still have some shit left over i guess i don't need to hoard i guess there was enough to go around i guess there was enough creativity for me to not have to steal other people's ideas like being a generous bitch will help cultivate a mindset of abundance Ooh, here's a common one um I am yearning for a luxurious life. Is this just a product of social conditioning? Should I chase this desire to pursue a life of riches and luxury, or should I suppress it? 